I think the main thing is trying to adapt your understanding to new settings. So for example, uh, a few weeks ago, we had a patient who had something called a cardiac arrhythmia. So he had lots of problems with his heart and he's quite young. And we also found out from some, uh, that he had a problem with his thyroid. So these two things, when we learned them, weren't really connected. Yeah? What we learned was that the thyroid makes your heart beat a lot faster. Okay? So we were able to connect that fact to the fact that making your heart be a lot faster could lead to something called a cardiac arrhythmia. When we do have to deal with people who have language barriers and they don't have uh, a, how do you say, a um, interpreter with them, it's quite a difficult kind of process to go through. You have to use different types of sign language and try to uh, do it in a way that seems is appropriate to their cultural beliefs as well. And uh, that was quite difficult, but it's a good skill to learn. Producing analyses that are backed up with evidence is probably the final thing, research ability. Yeah. Uh, since I wasn't really exposed to any sort of research before I came into this degree, it, it, was, it was really insightful to go through the whole process and then being critiqued by it and uh, actually getting a publication in the end, which was, which was great. Uh, that, that's probably one of my greatest achievements in, throughout this whole course. I think my last placement is probably the one that I learned the most of, and that was my surgical placement. And being able to kind of be so hands-on with the professionals was really exciting. I mean, going into surgery, scrubbing up, feeling like you're part of the team, actually assisting is a great experience. Uh, I don't know how to explain it really. If, when, when you're doing all the things theoretically, it's nice to imagine the whole kind of concept. But when you're doing it with your own hands and you're there, it's a completely different experience. You feel like you're actually applying your knowledge in a certain way. And that was really exciting. The next thing was learning all these specific uh, clinical skills. So putting in catheters, which isn't really that exciting for most people, but it's a skill that we have to learn. So putting in catheters, taking bloods, uh, cannulas, everything like that. All these technical skills are essential for every doctor. And having the chance to actually do it on real patients, although frightening, was extremely useful. And uh, I think those are probably the two best qualities I've learned from my last module.